Hey everyone, welcome back to our next Smart Suite Showcase. I'm your host, Nate Montgomery, and in this series, we share the ways customers are using our platform. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at how consulting firms are using Smart Suite to make the most of their projects. We're going to be taking a look at a couple views and dashboards that one, consultant managers are using to plan and prioritize projects, get an overview of project progress, and maintain high utilization levels of their available resource pool. Secondly, I'll show a couple of views consultants working on these projects can effectively do their work out of to ensure timely project delivery. Let's dive right in. As always, I'd like to remind you where you can find the solution we're going to look at today. The first place is in the description of this video below. Secondly, is if you start with the template, you can go to Smart Suite Showcases and find the solutions I show in these videos here. Today, we're going to be focusing on this consulting resource management solution. And when I open up the solution, we are brought to our consulting resource manager dashboard. This is a dashboard a consulting manager can work out of to get an overview of project progress, start planning and prioritizing projects, assigning them to the right consultants based on a certain skill and expertise needed, and then also manage utilization and capacity of their team. At the top of this dashboard, we have several widgets, which are giving us a good overview of project progress. On the right, we have a widget calculating some financial information for us. This chart on the right is also giving us an overview on that project progress, showing the status of tasks we can click into the chart to see an overview of those tasks, who they're assigned to, what the due date is, and how much time have we tracked towards them. On the left side is a chart that is giving us an overview of our consultant utilization for the current week at hand. We see our different consultants and the utilization rate they have for this week. Now, in the middle of this dashboard, we have project planning and progress, which is an embedded grid view of our projects. It's filtering to show only our projects that are being planned out or in the forecasting and, and planning phase. And you can see they're sorted right now by a priority score, putting ones with the most priority at the top. This priority score is being calculated based on the strategic importance of the project, the profitability, as well as the timeline of the project. So as the date gets closer, the priority of the project is going to go up. And when a project is being brought to the top of the view, a manager is able to understand we need to set the timeline for it or start assigning consultants to the project to make sure this gets done on time. Looking at this restructuring company XYZ, I'm able to open a record view to see the information about this project in a page layout. We're able to see our project information, including the importance, the, the type, profitability, the progress, all inside of this view here. And we're able to review resource requirements for this project. Now let's say we reviewed the requirements and we want to pick a skill and expertise needed for this project because we want to assign it to a consultant that has that skill set. In this case, we may pick strategic planning as a skill set needed to take on this project. And using a pretty fun feature from Smart Suite, when we look into our available resource pool, we're able to dynamically filter our consultants based on who has the skill set we, we selected prior. It's also going to sort through our resources available and show the ones that are being least utilized at the top, as well as show their hourly rate. From here, we can go ahead and sign the project to a consultant to take on and start assigning the tasks of that project to our consultants as well. Continuing in our dashboard, we have a consultant overview, which is showing our listing available resources, including how many projects and tasks each of them are working on currently. From this view, we're able to easily identify who is on the bench and who needs to be assigned work. We can also assign work from here. Being able to look at the projects that haven't yet been assigned that fit the skill set of our consultants, and then we're able to assign the tasks of those projects that they have been assigned to. When we link this tasks, which has time information stored in it, we see that our utilization rate for that consultant goes up. He now has an open project and a task too, and he's no longer on the bench. A project timeline also may be helpful for a consultant manager to get an overview of the projects being worked on. And the same goes for a timeline showing the tasks grouped by a team member to also understand the level of work across time for consultants. Now let's flip to a consultant dashboard to show how consultants working on the tasks and projects can effectively manage their work. In this consultant dashboard, we have a couple embedded grid views. At the top, we're able to see my projects, which is filtering to show projects that 
I've been assigned to, consultants can work out of this one dashboard and they can be presented with just the information that pertains to them. From here, they can do the work on the project, understanding the key bits of information about the project and even request extensions and keep track, manage the information about those extensions in this section here. Scrolling down, we have my outstanding tasks, which is showing the tasks that are upcoming in due date that have not yet been finished. As a consultant, I can star this dashboard and every time I sign into SmartSuite, I can be brought to my listing of outstanding tasks and the projects I'm working on. Moving over to tasks, consultants are able to visualize the work that's due in other types of views, such as a Kanban view, so as they're completing the work, they can move the tasks along in status. And coming back to the resource manager dashboard, as the work is being completed and tasks are moving along in status, this chart will be updated. Eventually the projects are going to be scheduled, which will start a project in progress. And as the tasks are completed of that project, this completed project count will go up as well as with the project profit as you start taking on more revenue for your completed projects. Any new projects will feed into this view here where a manager can start collecting details about the project, which contributes to the priority score so they can add a timeline and pick the appropriate consultant based on the skill set and the utilization. And that wraps up this Smart Suite showcase. Hopefully you learn more about how consultants are using our platform to make the most of their projects, effectively planning their projects, pulling in the right resources, and efficiently using those resources as well. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for a future showcase, feel free to leave that in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next video.